And so like in closing now, um, um, what sort of thing you hope a, a student would take away from all of these stories? And if you don't remember any of the stories themselves or in particular, what do you think you would leave the students with? Well, I think you know what, what you mentioned is, is good, is, is understanding that, that just the extraordinary moment that we live in today, you know, that, that it's, it's easy for us to go day to day to day to day and not really think in terms of, you know, it's just another day I go to work or, I go, you know, I go through my routine and not to realize this is a moment that's not going to be repeated in history for eternity to come. This is the moment where, where um, we can surrender our lives and allow Jesus to work through us to rescue a lost world. Mm -hmm. This is the day of salvation. Mm -hmm. And so we give ourselves and allow ourselves to be a living sacrifice today, or we don't. But the choice we make today, and whether we do that or not, determines on whether or not we were Jesus' friend. Mm -hmm. Were we allowing Jesus to go work through us to rescue a lost world that he loves. Mm -hmm. And if we're willing to do that, if we're willing to be that living sacrifice today, you know, one day the door of grace is gonna close and all eternity will begin and paradise will begin. And this moment today is that extraordinary moment to be Jesus' friend. And then when we enter into eternity, for all eternity to come, we'll be able to look back on this moment of our lifetime and say, I was Jesus' friend. I think Paul summarizes what Jody just said uh, in a single sentence or phrase. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Every one of these stories that we've looked at were that day of salvation mm -hmm. in the circumstances and the particular need of those people. And it is, I didn't think about it until you just mentioned it, but looking back on it now from Lesson 13, all these stories are about the ordinary to the extraordinary. The ordinary really being humanity in its weakness and in its need, and the extraordinary being uh, God as creator and redeemer who comes, who comes after us uh, in so many different ways. I think what we were wanting to really accomplish with all these different stories was just to show that our needs come in all shapes and sizes. And I really like the emphasis Jody's ending on here is, it's not ultimately just about our rescue mm -hmm. and restoration. Mm -hmm. God is rescuing and restoring us so that we can become vessels of exactly. rescue, and rescue, exactly. rescue and restoration for others. And so maybe that's the best place to leave off is being a people acquainted with the rescue and restoration of God. Now let's go out and share that rescue and restoration with others. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So the, um, the other thing to end on is what are the plans of the conference um, along with these lessons? Um, what's next to help us to turn our, um, our dream and uh, our goal to become a man of church that is vibrant and relevant to the century that we're living in? A anything that's next after these lessons um, as far as the conference is concerned? So yeah, if we step back and look at the at the lessons, you know, this series of lessons, we're just finishing with with Q2, Jesus as our Savior, which is the first stage of, of uh, transforming vision to reality. And the next two uh, quarterlies will be focused on Jesus as our Lord. And as J Jason talked about, that's where we get into these different worldviews, these things that compete with the Lordship of Christ and uh, all these idols of secularism or nationalism or all these different things that compete with with our, our uh, commitment to Christ. Mm -hmm. And then when we get into 2019, we'll be into stage uh, three of Transforming Vision to Reality. And that's where we focus on the Great Commission. And the lesson study we have there is one aspect of that Great Commission that is, is really focused on discipleship. Mm -hmm. Because we've got you know three things in, in, in the, uh, the vision for for uh, the Great Commission, which is discipleship, fellowship, and and, and really the, the evangelistic side of things, you know. So, so we're focused on the uh, discipleship aspect of that in the lesson studies, and then also we're supplementing that in our in our ministries of things that we can do from an evangelistic standpoint and things too. So, 
So those are the things we have to look forward to in 2019. And I think these, this three-year plan that, that uh, Lauren and Jody have, have presented um, to the church to, to think about, I think it's, a, it's just an excellent template mm -hmm. that helps us think um, in terms of what are our priorities as a church. And our priorities as a church, it's not a three-year plan. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it goes on. And so what's, what's wonderful about this three-year plan is really it's about orienting ourselves on what's most important, and that is, that is Jesus as Savior and Lord mm -hmm. uh, uh, and following the plan He's given us. And so uh, I think it's something that when the three years is complete, it, we shouldn't stop and say, now what? Right. <laughs> um, what? What's being given to us is really a concerted effort has been made to sort of lay a foundation that, that becomes, uh, develops momentum and it continues to, to roll forward. Uh, the, I know that publications, uh, I know RDOS, I know missions mm -hmm. is, is orienting ourselves around this, this same focus with publications in the Bible Advocate. Um, our tracks as we review and revise and write new tracks um, as we continue to to um, share this we believe our book uh, as well as our, our quarterlies we're going to continue to to focus um, on this emphasis of Jesus as Savior and Lord and following his uh, his plan uh, to save the world because that's what it means to be the church and so we, we never stop uh, this process and I think that's you know that's essentially what you'll see is as we we started out with with these three stages of TBR spending a year focused on Jesus the Savior a year focused on Jesus the Lord and a year focused on the Great Commission from the standpoint of of uh, addressing that you know this this harmony of grace and truth sometimes we get we get uh, so much of a focus on grace that we ex exclude truth or vice versa so we thought it was important to to talk really about what does it mean that Jesus is our Savior, that we are saved by grace and grace alone. Mm -hmm. And then talk about the Lordship of Christ, that, that that's the whole sanctification process and growing to be like Christ. So Jesus, make me more like thee. Mm -hmm. And then the Great Commission. So it's the focus on Jesus and follow his plan. And what you'll see as we go beyond 2019 is really that collapses into one entity, that that's the continuation, is to continue to focus on Jesus and follow his plan. Mm -hmm. And so our plan is essentially his plan, mm -hmm. which is to focus on him and, and uh, follow, him. follow him with a great commission. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, then we're being Jesus' friend. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we can take with us for all eternity to come. Jesus is Savior. He rescues us and he restores us. And Thank he you. uses us so that we can be Restores um, to, and rescuers to help others, to, right. to rescue others, to restore others, to be angels yeah. to each other. I I like the story format, and this was great. And thank you. Thank you, Kurt. It was a pleasure yeah. and attention, and thank for you. answering all my hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for having thank us. You. It's been wonderful.